All right, everyone, here we go. This is an all signs reading. It doesn't matter what your sign is, it's straight up energy reading. This is for Uranus retrograde in Taurus, which I've been waiting to pull on. And I put a note about that in the little calendar section of, of upcoming readings in my blog. I said, I'm waiting for it to get going a while. Why? Because it's, it's an energy that blends well with every reading I've done up to this point, especially recent readings. Um, it's, well, <laughs> My pre-shuffle here is amazing. This is the deck we're going to shuffle, we're going to clarify with, and it's the uh, uh, Lightseer deck. And I just picked it up. I just flipped it just before I hit record, and randomly at the bottom is Liberation, Nine of Pentacles. I just wanted to show you that. That's randomly at the bottom. I decided which deck am I going to use. I thought, well, I looked at this one, and I saw Liberation. I went, well, that tells me I should use that deck. This one here had Ten Swords at the bottom. Kind of fits, but this fits better. All right, so this is the deck we use for, that's how I decide. You know, I let the bottom card tell me, talk to me. That said, what is Uranus retrograde here? What is this doing? Well, I think if this reading had a theme song, had a background track, right? Uh, a soundtrack. It would be a little song by a band called Queen from 1980 called Play the Game, all right? In particular, a, a lyric from that song and you don't have to I would listen to it if I were you <laughs> I would because it fits with the energy of right now and what's going on on both sides in a way but the incoming side the runner side for sure there's a line in that song that says this is your life don't play hard to get it's a free world all you have to do is fall in love play the game and it's kind of what's here right? this is a balance between freedom liberation Liberation, free flying love geese, and crossing that, the King of Pentacles, security. And I swear to God, when I shuffled this pre shuffle, I thought to myself, my God, the universe is going to give us one hell of a reading today. It's being uh, utterly literal, right? We could say, you know, we could take the play the game thing uh, that I gave you for the soundtrack, or we could say Braveheart. Right? That, that, that line in, in that movie where he talks about they will not take away our freedom. That kind of thing. It's a balance. Have we sacrificed our freedom for our security? And it's a core issue with these runners. It has been for some time. This is one of the most important readings I'll pull between now and the end of the year. That's why I waited till this planet got going. All right? And I'm glad I did because the energy is solid now. You know, it's, it's been retrograde for a good, oh, almost a couple weeks uh, or a week or so at this point anyway, something like that. Um, so let's do this. These runners have always been deciding. They, all, they have always felt trapped. That, that comes up in the extendeds all the time. It comes up all the fucking time. All right. Now, it's, it's during this retrograde, all of us are trying to figure out, have we sacrificed freedom for security? But whether it's societal energies... Or, wh or whether it's uh, the, the soulmate cycle energies. It doesn't matter. All right? it, it absolutely doesn't matter. Um, it's a pretty powerful reading. It's going to be. Uh, let's do it. It's a general reading. It may or may not resonate with you. But if the title brought you in here or you found Steve Love Tarot, you're here for a reason. All right? mm. This is about comfort zones, if I'm to sum it up. People, most people, like to stay in their comfort zone. And those people never go anywhere. They never do anything. Nothing ever happens to them that's out of the ordinary. They go through their lives. A lot of times I see it as what I call cog energy, where they just go through their lives. They do what they're supposed to do, and blah, 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 and then they die. <laughs> and then they move on, and they repeat it again in the next life over and over and over again, never really grow in their energy. These runners, however, would have been like that, but they cross paths with you. They're part of the soulmate cycle. They're special. They're, they're Probably this cycle probably doesn't encompass more than most agree about 20 million people out of the seven plus billion that live on the planet. So we got a chance here. They had a chance to grow some energy. They saw something. A bit like, uh, you know, I don't know, a, a, a walking past a lion in a cage with a sirloin steak and holding it outside the bars. You're the steak, right? They saw something they could have. So here we go. The surface energy. I said, give me the influence. Give me the soulmate cycle with the influence of Uranus retrograde. It's a five-month thing here. A lot of it. I encourage you guys to look at, look at some of this, too, on varying levels. These runners, lovers, freedom, love, geese flying in the air. This soulmate connection. Have I sacrificed? Have I fucked up here? 
crossed by the King of Pentacles. Practical. Security. Whatever the security comfort blankie is in their fucking life. You know? Underneath that, a lot of cold, hard truths from a great horned owl coming at them. Right? Cold, hard truths. King of Swords. Underneath that, the Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords in this pre-shuffle is technically bookending the lovers. It's Somebody here wants to make a change. These truths are causing them to want to make a change. The Knight of Swords message usually brings change or telling you to do something differently. All right? And underneath that, we take it a little bit further. We've got fears. Fears. Somebody let their fears hold them back, and they're having a lot of regrets for it in this energy. A lot. There's a, also, there's a Five of Wands. They're going to be back and forth in their head. It's just, just as a little separate energy here about these fears that held them back. And, and that's what happens when you stay in your comfort zone. And it's especially what happens when the love geese cross your path, which is exactly what happened here in this soulmate cycle. So, play the game. Alright? It's your life. It's what it is. It's just the way it goes. Don't play hard to get in your own damn life, as Freddie Mercury tried to teach us. <laughs> All you have to do is play the game. That's all. Well, let's see. Let's shuffle the deck. This first card out's before the cut. That's why the fuck are we here? And that really is, that song has been ringing in my head. I haven't heard it in years. It's been ringing in my head. Just ringing. It's going to ring throughout this reading. For me, it's going to be the background soundtrack. <laughs> it was during Queen's Flash Gordon era, so it's got synthesizers on it. I think I, I think the game, which is the album it's on, was the first album they used synthesizers. You know, but uh, it's still a good song, man. It's still very, very, it's very, very important for people to understand that. Okay, let's go. First card before the cut. Why the fuck are we here? Why the fuck are we here? Oh, and I do want to point out, because I like to, I have taken the old original Steve Love Tarot Animal deck out of retirement for this reading. Right, so these are we have not, you know, you can't say what well, he didn't shuffle or what, you know, all this other stuff. No, no, I, we have a, we I touched this deck recently in an extended or something like that, but realistically, I decided to bring back some energy here. Two of Wands moving in a new direction. We're here because somebody looking elsewhere. Somebody realizes that that they well, <laughs> they played hard to get in their own life. The runners played hard to get, and it bit them in the ass. They ran. Mm -hmm. Two of Wands, and look at that. Look at that. They return. I accidentally left that card there. My God, this deck is notorious for me accidentally leaving cards on the table. That is unreal. What comes after the cut? Well, it's New Adventures. Page of Wands. My very adventurous page. Okay? Again, I talked about it. People, that's, it's about comfort zones. We could talk about Queen's Play the Game or Lionheart, They Will Not Take My Freedom. I do a terrible Scottish accent, so I'm not even going to bother. But new adventures. Somebody, there's, a, there's an inherent bravery in this energy, right? And, and it blends with all my readings tied together. So pay attention to what I talked about in the last reading in Jupiter Retrograde and what I talked about in Leo in, in Venus moving forward in Leo. Okay, it's very important. All of these energies work together and you can see how somebody might make some I'm just gonna go for it kind of thing. Yeah. They're definitely looking finally, and I'm I'm giving the deck a final shuffle here. They're definitely looking finally at, at that feeling of being trapped, which is always there. They feel like they're, they're obligated, there's obligations, and they're stuck in their own life, and I'm going to disappoint this person if I do this, or I'm going to, you know. A lot of them are stuck in bad relationships, and they're only in it because of flimsy excuses. Flimsy, well, what would mommy and daddy think? Or, well, it's going to be too much money. Or, it's going to be the... It's your life. That's what they're trying to figure out. And that's what all of us are going to be trying to figure out here. You know? Don't. Don't play hard to get in your own damn life. All you got to do is fall in love. Play the game. Let's go. Give me the soulmate cycle with the influence of Uranus retrograde in Taurus. Here we go. I can't shuffle. I can't shuffle anymore. I can't even put the cards back. All right. Nine swords. Overall energy of the reading is nine swords. Nines of the end in tarot. Okay, that's one. But it is an anxiety. This is, these are hard things to look at. These are hard things to do. And I can tell you, Uranus, 
I didn't really think about it until the other day, but I've been kind of doing this. I've been kind of looking at areas where I've stayed in my comfort zone lately. So, you know, and I try to make an effort to walk my talk. So I can dig this. Hey, this isn't pace in the kitchen at two in the morning with a bottle of whiskey, but when you realize, and when these runners, I'm pulling on the incoming energy here for this reading, when they realize, you know, that they've had the key in their pocket the whole fucking time, you know, and you cross their path, well, the fool. I didn't know that was there. I didn't. I never knew. I love the surprise of these readings. The, the cards are not going to let us down today with that pre-shuffle. <laughs> and liberation randomly at the bottom of the witches. No, no, no. We're fine. When you realize that you had the key in your pocket the whole time and you've been playing hard to get in your own life, it's time for something new. The overall energy of the reading not only backs up the pre-shuffle, it backs up the cut cards. Our reading's on the flip. Let's take this and put it here. Our reading's on the flip. Very important reading. All right? So pay attention. Uh, in, in the extended, we'll talk about you. We'll talk about what this energy is for you for sure. All right? And I will, I will dig. I will dig. For, for a lot of you, it's minor. But it's just about comfort zones for most of you. Right here. The energy around your connection is here. How your person's behaving in the 3D is here. Their soul is here. Hidden energy is here. Message from the universe read with the energy of your connection. And right here is the potential final outcome. I'm going to bring you into this reading here. Okay? I'm going to make this your final outcome. All right? What did, so this will be what you can expect here from this runner. Rather than what they're going to do. What you can expect. Which will you know, kind of tie to it. So I'm taking it from your perspective in the final outcome. I will clarify everything. Throw some universe cards at the end. And you bet your sweet ass is, like I said, there's going to be an extended. This is a very important reading. All right? Let's go. Energy around your connection. Uranus retrograde. The emperor. Yep, 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 yep. Taking control. It's, an ener it's a balanced energy. It is all about most of the, If we took your connection, right, we said we had a bowl of energy, right, the bowl would be tilted all toward the divine masculine side. It's, it's, it's like the universe is saying, okay, motherfucker, it's your move. Mm-hmm. It's your move. What you gonna do? Oh, God. Oh, God. Well, look like they're gonna do that. Take a leap of faith. There's a lot of, I can't emphasize enough, and I would listen to it even if it's not your kind of music, because it just, somebody just turned up the volume in my head on Play the Game from Queen. I mean, it really, really is that. It just, oh. God, it's unreal. Okay. How are they behaving in the 3D? <laughs> Look, and we, we, we don't, this is the old deck. We haven't been touching this for these readings. Look, five pentacles. That says a lot. That's why I grabbed, that's why I pulled it out of retirement. Five pentacles. How are they behaving in the 3D? Look at the road. They've, 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 they've left out. What is the line from the song? Don't play hard to get in your own, it, 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 in, in your own life, right? It's right there. It's, they left themselves out in the cold. They played hard to get in their own life. I'm telling you, it's unreal. Okay, soul energy. What book ends the emperor, the queen of cups? Come on, I'm making this stuff up and I told you the cards are not gonna let us down today. Even I'm, I gotta step back for a moment here and wheel my chair back because I'm blown away by, what's, what's, by the energy that's here. It is so perfect. I'm glad I waited until Uranus retrograde got going a little bit. I'm glad because we are swimming in this fucking energy right now and it is blending with the other energies around it in sheer perfection. I mean, it's just the Queen of Cups. The soul is wide open. If the soul was a gas pedal, it'd be to the floor. It'd be through the floor. You'd have to have your floorboard welded later because you pushed all the way through it. That's what's going on here. I said, if your connection was a bowl of energy, it would all be tilted toward the DM side. It's your move, motherfucker. She holds the Ace of Cups and gives the full cup. It's coming. This energy flows from here to here. Somebody here, a lot of anxiety about the fact that they left themselves out of their own life. They played hard to get in their own life, left themselves out of the cold, fear of missing out energy. Somebody knows they're missing out on this connection and they know it strong, big time. Hidden energy, message from the universe. <laughs> I swear, if I get a queen here, I'm going to fucking shit myself. We already got a queen. I mean, here's queen, right? The, the band is queen, so there it is. Uh, hidden energy, message from the universe, red with the emperor. The star, yeah. Unreal. Unfucking real. I mean, the timing. The universe, this is the universe talking to us. 
this position, right? And you know I call her a fickle old gal, and yeah, it's a her. It's a whole bunch of energy. It is the universe basically saying to us, if I'm to put this into words, is this is the perfect energy at the perfect moment right now. It's all about right here, right now. This energy will pry these runners, just, just make them, this, this card keeps coming up and the Five of Cups too. It's getting heavier and heavier, starting to feel like 10 wands of heaviness. So what's your outcome here? And remember, I said I flipped the script here. I'm pulling for you now. I'm bringing you into this reading. I'm not just leaving you in the extended or anything like that. I, I'm pulling you here. All right. What? <laughs> I took a peek. Oh my fucking unbelievable. Okay. Here they come. Knight of Cups. The, the a surprise is in store for you. And I say that. I know it's not a tower. It's not like shocking or a surprise visit. Oh, absolutely. All you got to do, I got old Freddie Mercury in my head right now. All you got to do is fall in love. I'll play the game. Oh, my God. Yep. Here they come. That's your outcome. You, the Knight of Cups. Somebody comes in with an apology, I would guess, based because it's red with this energy. The universe is laughing here. It's laughing. It's like, oh, oh, I have set this up nicely. Yeah, it really is a lot of divine timing in play here. It is. It's. It's. Uh, I couldn't. I. If I had the power, and I'm not the warlock on the hill, I do not. But if I had the power to set up energies, right? Take the energies around us and say, okay, I want to put this here and that there and that there. I couldn't have even with a whole night of thinking about it and 50 whiteboards to work out the math. I could not have worked out the energy setup that is here, the energy lineup that is around us right now. All right. If it was a baseball team, it would be every great player that, ever, that ever existed on one team. It would be the all-star team from hell. All right? Yep. Communication. Okay. So let's dig into the game here. All right? Let's go. Emperor. Why is it here? Let's shuffle. The key to understand about this energy for them or for yourself is we're, we're taking a cold, hard look. At have we have we sacrificed our life in the for the sake of security, for the sake of comfort, for the sake of safety? You know, again, people who stay in their comfort zones, they never really do anything. They don't have any real adventures. They won't even do things like hike the Grand Canyon because well, people get hurt every year. I'm not going to go. Okay, well, that sounds kind of stupid to me. You might want to check that out. Do you want to go? Yeah. Okay. Well, then you should go do it. It's okay. Yeah, people get hurt every year. Sure. But people don't, too. Most of them don't. You know, people people make up the craziest excuses for sitting in the damn comfort zones. These runners, they're just afraid to be vulnerable. They're afraid of love. They never saw anything like you before. Nothing at all. Never felt this before. I know that because Queen of Cups keeps coming up in my recent readings. And you know that, all the way back to the September overview with the Queen of Cups being the key element, right? All right, I'm shuffling. Emperor, why is it here? Amazing reading. God, I swear, I get a lot of help for these readings. Somebody commented on that on my Twitter, and I, I, I agree. I, I'm, I'm good. I'm a, I'm a powerful energy reader. I've been reading energy since I was a little kid. Again, you know, I'm, I'm a bona fide freak. I actually, for some reason, pick up on things that other people miss. But I'm not this good for these. When I sit down, there's something about when I sit down at this table and I hit the record button, something happens. Something is bigger than me. I don't, I can't explain it. I don't know. But there's no way these cards, because I should be coming out like this. I don't have this kind of luck even playing poker. All right, the Empress. <laughs> poker, then again, is a game of skill, isn't it? I could read people pretty well. but Here's the uh, Hierophant crossing it. Yeah, this is righteous. This is, I said, if your connection was a bowl of energy, it's tilted all the way to the DM side. It's your move, motherfucker. They, they feel this. They feel it on it. This, this is wow. These are changes that are going to last. These are lasting, lasting changes are happening within this person's soul. Okay? I think within everybody's. All right? But again, I'm just pulling on, I'm isolating the incoming energy here. 
Um, all you're attached to all this energy is happening for you as well on differing levels. Okay, what's on top? Queen of Pentacles. It's soul nurturing, beautiful energy. It's also in another layer your energy. This is where you come in. I said it's tilted. It doesn't mean that the DF side is gone. It's just tilted more to the DM side, right there. That's you showing up. All right. It, it's just. I, it, it's an I get it now. It's just somebody here. You're free and they're trapped. So they sacrificed you for staying where they're trapped, where their stability is, where their safety is, where their comfort is, where their little blankie is that keeps them safe. Whatever it is, status, money, family, a relationship that's no good, but it's, you know, this, this, and a bunch of excuses. And there you are, thriving and doing fine. Yep, 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 yep. That's how you show up here. Queen. Your queen. Look, you're the queen. There you go. You're the game they want to play, right? What's going on? Why is the queen of pentacles here? See? What did I just say? I swear to you, I don't know what the fuck, even I don't know what the fuck is happening here. Okay? I am half tempted to stop this video right now and just pace the room with my head in my hand going, holy shit. Holy fuck. What the fuck's going on? Right? But I'll do that right in front of you, right here. I won't stop the video. Liberation. The Nine of Pentacles. Why is this here? Because you, you are the freedom side of it, and they're the, they're the trap side of it. They're the, you know, sacrifice. They sacrifice their, have we sacrificed our freedom in favor of security? You're the freedom side of it. And they're over here going, I need to do something. They're ready to play the game. I know that because I got a, a Knight of Cups here in your final outcome. This is what you can expect. A Knight of Cups. And it is a motherfucking night. Now, I would normally make a joke and say that feels pagey. No. The only page I got is a page of wands after the cut. And I like that. That's just talking about someone wanting something new. Realizing, I think they realize that they have played hard to get in their own life. Maybe they're, maybe they're listening to Queens the Game and getting in, uh, play the game and getting inspired. I don't know. Five of Pentacles. Why is it here? I know why it's here. I mean, yeah. When you realize that life is not that hard, people overcomplicate life like crazy with all kinds of gray areas and excuses and nonsense and obligations and th they keep themselves locked up. When you realize, and everybody realizes it, who does that realizes it at the end. But if you're lucky enough to realize it before the end of the line, it does leave you in that. Oh my God, I had the fucking key the whole time. The great love of my life I ran from, right? I ran from real love to keep a fucking pentacle. There's your, right there. <laughs> it's what my friends and I in my circle would call a rubber rose. We'll call it a rubber rose. It looked like a rubber rose too. All right, five of pentacles, why is it here? I wish I could get the licensing to play just off in the background. You could hear what's in my head. Play Queens, play the game on low underneath my voice. I can't. Uh, YouTube would catch it and I'd get in trouble. But, oh, just unreal. All right. Why is the Five of Pentacles here? Why? <laughs> what did I say? I just got done saying to you. Everybody who lives this way doesn't leave, you know, stays on the sidelines in their own life, right? Uh, feels this at the end. But if you're lucky enough to feel it before the end, it's a rubber rose here. Yeah, just look at the picture. Five swords. Yeah. Somebody cheated themselves. Somebody thought they were doing, you know, somebody thought they were having a bunch of victories. I got a bunch. I'll just give you an example. I got a bunch of money. I got a great job. I got this. All, they're talking about all kinds of things. I got security. I got status. I got all these great, you know, people that I know. They're like name droppers and all this kind of stuff. It's just an example. I'm not necessarily saying that's your person. And then in this energy, in this energy, they realize, but I actually have nothing because I actually love what's over here. And then they look at you and they see how free you are to do things. And the fact that you do take some chances. I think a lot of you probably do, right? You move outside comfort zones just watching these tarot readings. Most people don't watch them. 
I don't get 30 million views. Some girl who melts soap together gets 30 million views. Uh, a video, a useful video about the energies around us, I might get 20,000, 25,000. It's a big difference between 25,000 and 30 million in there. Yeah. So most, okay, I'm just gonna say it. Most, most, most people are fucking idiots. Okay, they, they never fucking grow. They never do anything. It's just the way it is. But you're not most people. Your runner isn't either. You have a soul connection with this person. They're not most people. They're like you. They just went down some wrong paths. They kept going down wrong paths. They're so lost, right? They're so lost, that's all. And, and you were their compass. You, they, you know, you found them. No, they're realizing it. What's on top? The hermit. Yeah, they're realizing all of this. Why is the hermit here? Knight of Cups. Knight of Cups. Knight of Cups. These are red with these. Knight. This is, this is perfect. Why? Because I need to know who, what Knight of Cups is coming towards you. Well, now I know. It's them. Mm -hmm. It's them. They're realizing all this. Somebody about to play the game. All right. I can't predict what a 3D person's going to do. Nobody can because of free will. But I can tell you the energy is blowing of its time. There's some big realizations coming to these runners here. Some big ones. Who's this Knight of Cups? It's this motherfucker right here. Mm -hmm. Now, let's, talk, let's pull on the Queen of Cups in the soul. Jesus, I'm afraid to. Now, this is nice. I'm going to isolate the soul energy here a bit. Okay? I'm not. Pretend there's a wall here. A fence. Okay? No, a fucking wall. F fuck a fence. A wall. It's a 10-foot high rock wall. All right? I'm going to isolate their soul energy. Not always easy to pull on soul energy in a big public reading like this, so bear with me, but we're going to see. I'll, I'm pretty good about boiling it down. Right. Let's go. Let's do it. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, fucking hell. God, their soul feels so good. It, it's, like, it's like when you've been walking all day, right? And, and your feet are tired. You get your shoes off when you get home. And you, you rub them in the carpet and shit. Or whatever. Right? You know that feeling? Yeah. There it is. Isolating their souls. Crossed by three cups. The emotions are flowing like a motherfucker. A motherfucker. Yeah. Very emotional. Very emotional. Just like Freddie Mercury singing that song. Very emotional. Right? Uh, what's on top? Six of Pentacles. Yeah. This <laughs> guy gave to the wrong things, but now they want to give to the right thing. Now they do. It's on top of Queen of Cups. Why is the Queen of Cups here? She holds the Ace of Cups. She gives the full cup. Somebody coming to give. Okay. Somebody, somebody now wants to give to a Why is the Six of Pentacles here? See all these Pentacles? See all these Pentacles? Somebody here is most upset. When I say the emotions are flowing, emotions are flowing. The heart chakra is open. Think of the, you got your brain over here. Right? Your ego. When you got your soul over here. I'm going to simplify it because that's always best for when, when explaining things to people. Ego, soul. In between, think of it like a pipe connecting them. Right? And there's water flowing through the pipe. Okay? In the middle of the pipe is a valve, a shut-off valve called heart, we'll call it. If that's off, the, the flow from the soul can't get to the brain. What's happening right now is that valve is wide open. And we got flow flowing. And somebody here is realizing they've been given to the wrong things. They wasted a lot of time. There's a lot of fucking. And as that flows from here to the 3D, you get your little sad rose there. All right. The hermit tells me the soul was wide open anyway. Uh, and this tells me who this is. See what I'm saying about this reading? I ain't this good. Something's trying. Some some energy. Whatever, whatever your belief system is, a little fucking fairy, a fucking unicorn, a fuck, I don't know. Some 11th dimension fucking crazy ass powerful energy is trying to, trying to tell you something here. I, that's all I can tell you. This ain't me. This is wick. Wow. All right. This is a star. You got to get the star in the message from the universe for fuck's sake. I mean, this is not your typical reading. Not by a mile. All right, I'm not even joking that much in it. I don't. I'm. I don't even know what to fucking say. I mean, it's just. But but this is par for the course with this energy, and how this particular Uranus retrograde energy is blending with the core energy cycles that are around us and the other astrological pull that's going on. Okay, the other astrological alignments. 
all of my readings tie together. I would tie this reading in close proximity. I would tie this reading to the uh, Venus, uh, to the September overview, Venus direct, and uh, Jupiter retrograde. They all tie together. And all uh, that's the rules of the game, if you will. The star. Tell me about the star. Why'd you give me this, you fickle old gal? Oh my God. What are we going on here? What do we got? Yeah. I said it's about divine timing, right? It's about the inner. If I could, if I could piece the energies together myself. I myself could not have come up with a better combination than the energies of right now where this and fitting in this Uranus retrograde within all those energies. Could not. Two of Wands. It's, it's just the, it's the why the fuck are we here position from another deck. It is, it's time. And when I, it, oh look at that, Knight of Wands. It happens quickly. They take a brave impulsive action here. They've got the bravery to do it. But what I was going to say, it doesn't look like she's moving, right? And the move, this is that moment where the movers have finished, right? And maybe she lived there like 30 years and she's got a lot of memories in this place. All right, I'm gonna tell you a story here. She got a lot of memories in that place. She lived there 30 years. That's the moment where the truck is loaded down on the street, doors closing, you can see them getting ready to go. They're filling out the final paperwork and you just take one last walk around, right? You just take one, you decided to leave this here. These are the memories, you're going to leave them there. You just take one last look around. Because life is never the same after this. Once you realize some of these things and you make these adjustments, and we've been talking about that within the energy, there are adjustments. It shows up a lot as a four of wands where we're getting slowly directed and pushed by the energy around us to get on the right path. Right, The path we're supposed to be on or a path that's better for us than the one we're on. For some of you, you're being guided by ancestor, ancestor energies. Right? Like, I, I'll just put some hocus pocus on it. Your dead grandfather is like, no, 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 you shouldn't do that. I don't want them to do that. So, that, so they're trying to create things. The 5D manipulates the 3D very easily, right? But that's that moment right there. The universe says this, this energy will cause that moment. Knight of Wands, we already knew that was there. And they take a brave, impulsive action, right? It is brave to leave her comfort zone. Male or female, it's a her on the card. It's brave. Why? Why, why is it? Well, well, because she got thirty. She lived there thirty years. You get you get used to a place, you know. You do. You live there. You got memories there. You maybe you raised your kids there. You had this there. You had that. I mean, it's tough. It, it can be, right? But it's changed. This is this energy is fueled by the death card, and I didn't know that was there. It's major arcana. It, it's happening. Death card. Two of wands with a story. The star card and then a brave impulsive action. Why is the knight of wands here? The ten of wands. Because you can't stay. Can't, just look at the picture. She can't. You think she can stay where she is? Can't stay. Ten wands. Tens of the end and dead end that lead to a new beginning. I don't know what the fuck's going on with this reading. I don't. I have no idea. But there is some kind of crazy energy here. All right. Normally, I might be Spider-Man. Now I'm Spider-Man in the in, in with Venom in the black costume. I have no idea what's going on. All right. Okay. This is your outcome. We know what night is coming because he came out here. <laughs> a, a one in three or four hundred thousand chance. Uh, okay. <laughs> All right. Knight of Cups. What's the final outcome on this? I'm afraid to fucking ask. All right. Oh my God! Oh, oh my God! I just looked over to make sure I hit the record button. Boy, this would be a reading. I would fucking go, I would throw myself off a cliff if I forgot to hit the record button on this motherfucker. Oh my God! There's no way I could do this again. I don't even know how I'm doing it the first time. All right, uh, Knight of Cups. If you're watching this reading, you're here for a reason. Some some energy much more powerful than me, his messages aren't coming, has a message for you. Okay? So pay the motherfucker attention. It could just be one thing I say. It doesn't have to be the whole. Alright? Alright. Maybe you're getting ready to move and I touched you sentimentally here. Right? Maybe you become a queen fan. I don't know. I have no idea. But for most of you, this is exactly what I say it is here. Why is the Knight of Cups here? 
I'm still shuffling. I'm running out of shit to tell you. Oh, you gotta be fucking. Oh, come on. I can't even. I just. Un. Mother. Jesus. Holy cow. God bless you, Jesus. All right, here you go. Two, two of cups. It's just incredible. Uh, yeah, two soulmates are coming together. You can expect. Uh, uh, I, I see this. I read this energy as a motherfucking surprise. Okay? This urine is. You, you would be glad if your person hasn't shown up yet. You want them showing up with this Uranus retrograde in place, blending with all the other energies. Oh, yes, you do. And I would suggest to you, ideally, because I know in advance what the energy is, you want them showing up around the first half of October. So, I mean, they might show up sooner. I have no way of knowing. There's no time in the energy. But take my word for it. This energy will still be here because Jupiter's still going to be retrograde and Uranus is still going to be retrograde and Neptune. It, it, it's all going to be here in, in the top of October. When it blends with the 1010 portal, it's unreal. Uh, but anyway, any any time under this Uranus retrograde, <laughs> two soulmates coming together. Uh, and yeah, it happens suddenly. That's a quick change energy fueling it. It's a magician. And it brings a lot of change with it. And that's the quick change aspect of the magician. Mm. Uh, what's on top? <laughs> oh, God. Oh, my God. Uh, this is you. This is your position. And here you are. Queen of tits. The best tits in the tarot. Male, male or female. Doesn't matter. You could have them chicken tits like my neighbor across the street. Look like Dolly Parton with a beard when he mows his lawn. But here we go. It's right there. The Empress. Somebody's. It's red with the hermit. They're feeling. They're feel. They're just drawn to you. They're drawn in. Drawn in. They're realizing they left themselves out. They played hard to get in their own life. Everybody play the game. That song. It's still there. Why is the empress here? The one of the cards that ends the separation phase of the soulmate cycle. It's the other five. That's the one five. The five pentacles with the sad rose. It is a sad horse in the animal deck, but right here it's five cups. Somebody here fucked up. Why is this knight coming towards you? First off, who is this knight? It's them. It's the incoming energy, whoever it belongs to. Why are they coming in? Because they fucked up. Because This is I fucked up upright. They had a chance to bang the empress and they didn't. And it eats at you. They had a chance. Uh, uh, for those that get, uh, for, for the prudes that get offended by that, I'll rephrase it. I know the Empress is a deep energy. They had a chance to love the Empress, have the Empress in their life, blending with their Emperor energy. And by the way, you are a divine couple. They're here. You're here in your final outcome. They show up here. You show up here also as one of the energies of the Empress, one of the finest. And this is what you do to them. You nurture their soul. They admire your freedom. Somebody here messed up. In, on this card, there's two cups still standing. You might recognize those two cups from the crossing energy. Wow. <laughs> okay, wow. Even I'm going to listen. I haven't heard it in years, and even I'm going to crank up. Queens play the game after this reading is done. Even me. All right? Wow. It's ringing in my head. I can't get rid of it. That's what they realize, okay? When you realize it, you just there's this realization, and then boom. Let's pull three cards from the universe, from the bottom of the deck, and across the cards, see what else it wants to tell you. And I promise you, <laughs> when I say wicked voodoo this time, I mean it. I will pull some wicked motherfucking voodoo on this reading. I'm going to pull an extended, very rare that I do this, I'm going to pull an extended on this reading. I'm going to take this reading. I don't Normally, I pull a bunch of side reads, what's going on on their side, all this. I'll probably do some of that. But I just want to talk about this reading. I want to talk about what's going on. What's up with the five, a lot of the five pinnacle, five cup energy, all that kind of stuff. And I'll pull on you. I'll open for what this Uranus retrograde means to you. Obviously, it means good things because you're reflecting as both the Empress and Queen of Pentacles in this, in this reading. It's, it's, uh, obviously, it means something. <laughs> and I've been saying, I think they show up out of nowhere, and I'm not playing. It's a tower. It's an eight of cups, and you don't have to believe me if you want. I don't care. I read the energy reversed. If it's, well, look at this, and I left a fool, a king of swords, 
and a three of wands. This happens very suddenly, very soon. Uh, this is reversed energy. You don't have to believe me. It doesn't matter if it is or not. It doesn't matter. There's you, the Queen of Pentacles, ties to that. It's crossed by the sun. Okay? Uh, somebody here shows up to talk to you. Um, it's just a beautiful soul nurturing energy. Somebody he sees you as their nine of cups. They see you as their happiness. We'll read it up right because sometimes people don't believe. Oh, yeah. if the cards come out forward, I've set them up that way in the deck. But I read the energy reversed if it's reversed. This is eight of cups reversed energy. It, it, it means one thing and one thing only. Somebody's returning. Okay, somebody who walked away is coming back. But I can read it either way because the sun's here. <laughs> I think the universe knew that and that's why I threw it that way. Doesn't matter. They walk, somebody here is coming in and they show up rather suddenly. They don't want you to get away. They want what you got, right? Just like this little fawn wants the milk. They want what you got. And I said the same thing over here. You represent the liberation, the freedom. And there, and this Uranus, this Uranus retrograde is all about asking ourselves, God, have I sacrificed for the, in the name, have I sacrificed love, happiness, just liberation in the soul? for security, comfort, status, this shitty relationship. I mean, I mean, they're all realizing it. The fact that you showed up down here as the Empress tells me how, how much they feel you. Tells me how sad they are. Look at this. Look, oh, yeah. Look, I accidentally left the Three of Swords. I don't even need to show you what I was going to show you. What is going on with this motherfucking reading? I'm scared. No, I'm not. It's, it's angel energy. I don't have a devil on the table. I don't have any devil energy here. I got nothing. Nothing. It's beautiful fucking energy. Um, yeah, they're realizing. They're, they're absolutely realizing it. They're feeling the pain. A lot of pain. That's all I got to say. You know, that's it. Wow. Okay. That is your reading. I hope it was helpful. If you want the extended, I, I do. I, I'm afraid to pull it. I can't wait to see. I don't know what's going to happen. Uh, it, the, there's a link in the description. Uh, if you're scared and you don't want it, I completely understand. Um, that's it. I hope this reading was helpful. If you like this reading, please like, share, and subscribe. Appreciate all the subscribers, everybody who shares, and everybody who watches. All right. Good luck.